Now, Mbali, you have stayed out of trouble um, as you have been campaigning. Uh, certainly, your name is not among the so-called prominent members of the DA that are facing charges or under investigation. But uh, one of the most prominent people behind you, the leader of the DA in KZN, Zogele Mwango, is named in those weekend reports, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, is there a purge um, in the DA? particularly of black leaders. Do you feel that there is a target of young or black leaders? Let me put it like that. I think that what we have currently, which is very sad in our party, is the closing down of the space for dissenting voices. I don't think that it's purely about race. I think that it's happening to people across racial lines in particular. Um, and I think that it is something that has been a feature of our party for some years. And it is why one of the very key elements of my campaign is around fairness, kind, fair and strong, particularly because I do not see the fairness and the consistency that we have to disciplinary issues being meted out towards everyone in the party. And so, yes, perhaps in recent uh, circumstances, we've seen an exodus of black leaders, amongst which uh, their reasons have been I think the lack of space to have sensing voices, but also clashes in terms of personalities with particular people. And that can happen in terms of any race. But certainly for me, what's troubling is that we don't seem to have a culture of open and robust debate that can go against leadership without um, having some kind of fear instilled in people. And that's what I want to change. And I've said that in my manifesto, and I've been continuing to say it in the light of these recent allegations that have come out, both against the party and members. I think as a member, I'm in the dark as much as anyone else is about the veracity of these claims. But what I do know as somebody in the party is that it doesn't always come easily to be somebody who's a dissenting voice in the leadership um, as somebody who myself has been charged for having different opinions. Do you think uh, having Helen Zilla back is contributing to this closing down of dissenting voices in the DA? I think it's happened before Helen Zilla was the federal council chairperson, but I certainly think it was also happening during her time as the federal leader. And I think in many ways, political parties take the shape of their leaders and of their leadership. And I think when you have a leadership that is particularly sensitive to criticism or to dissent in terms of opinions, then this is the kind of environment that becomes prevalent. DA internal disciplinary process is fair in your view and um, I would like to put the issue of Mr. Zoyagele Mwango in question because he is being, um, he, he had to explain himself to the most senior leaders of the DA after inviting um, the former DA leader Musi Maimane to the opening of the KZN legislature, a public event and uh, an event in which he can invite anyone in his capacity, that's part of his privilege as a, a member of the provincial legislature. And yet, he finds himself in a position where he has to explain himself to the highest echelons within the DA. Um, are, your, are your internal disciplinary processes fair and being used um, for, for their purpose? I think that we certainly have a culture of the politicization of our FLC. But I will say this, Musi Maimane was the officiator at John Steen Hazen's wedding. He was the best man at other senior members of the DA's uh, weddings too. He was at people's christenings of their children. And for me, that says a lot more than somebody who simply asked to be invited to the opening of parliaments to find out what was happening in a legislature. And so I suppose I would think that this was just a really petty charge, uh, if anything. But I think that the conversation must be around why this in particular was seen as something to charge Mr. Mwango for. Um, whereas people have had far more intimate, I think, relations with uh, Mr. Mayamani in their personal capacities. 